This has got to be one of the most obvious settings we miss all the time. Have a look at this. So if we pick the quick selection tool and make a selection of this bottle, very simple to do. Now let's mask it out by clicking on the mask button. Now to see the mask properly, let's create a black background. So click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color. You can pick black, hit OK and place it under the bottle inside of the layers panel. Now, as you can clearly see, the selection is absolutely not smooth. There are a lot of jagged edges. So how do we take care of that? We want to smooth the selection. So we need to tell Photoshop, hey, Photoshop, smooth the selection. So once you have a selection, let's make the selection again. We want to modify what? The selection. So let's go to select. And what do we want to do with it? We want to modify it. So let's go to modify and we want to make it smoother. So let's go to smooth. That's all. And you have to choose how smooth you want to make it. This can be a little trial and error. So for now, I'm going to choose, let's say 40. Hit OK. All right. Now let's click on the mask button again. And again, let's create a black background. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color. Let's go for black. Hit OK. Place it under the bottle. As you can see, it is much smoother than before. However, there's one drawback of this. Since it makes the overall selection smoother, it kind of eats up the edges, as you can see. So how do we deal with that? So once you have made the selection smoother by going to select, modify and smooth. This time, let's go for 32. Hit OK you'll see that these areas are compromised. So again, with the same quick selection tool, you can subtract these areas. So hold the Alt key or the Option key and paint on these areas to quickly fix that. Similarly, you can fix other areas as well. For example, these areas need to be selected. So let's do that quickly. And there you go. That is fixed as well. Little fixes here and there is fine. Now, this method is also very useful when you want a smoother curve or a smoother selection, even when the actual edges of the object are harsh. Now, this is not the only method. Sometimes the solution is hidden in the way you make a selection. Obviously, if you're using something like the pen tool, you would have a smoother curve because I would be making something like this and making a curved part like this. There is no chance of having jaggedy edges, right? However, even if you're using something like the quick selection tool like we did before, have a look at this setting right here. I can just check enhance edge. And now when I make a selection, let's do that again. And now when we click on the mask button, I already have a black background. Have a look. It is much smoother than before. But the smooth function is very useful to know if you already have a jaggery selection. Speaking of already having jaggery selection, which I have right now, there's one more way, actually two more ways. Let's create a mask out of it. As you can see, the selection is not smooth. Select and mask is the solution to a lot of things and to this one as well. With the mask selected and with any of the selection tools selected, at the top you'll see select and mask. Let's click on that. And the very obvious setting that you can turn up right here is smooth. Just increase it just a little bit as much as you like. There you go. 20 is fine for me and have a look at it. It doesn't harm the edges as much. And if you find halos in here, which I can find a little bit of the blue towards the edges, you can just simply shift the edge towards the left. There you go. That is fixed. This would be extreme, but let's do a little bit of it, maybe 32 and that's fine. Now, there's even one more way of doing this, which is very similar to the smooth feature. Again, there's not one way of doing things in Photoshop. There are no right or wrongs. Some methods are better in certain situations than others. That's all. Let's reset the smooth and the shift edge by double clicking on them. And the solution is simply adding a lot of feather and then adding contrast. There you go. It makes the overall thing very, very smooth. Again, the demerit here is that it may eat up the edges a little bit. So you have to take care of that separately. But apart from that, this method is absolutely foolproof, always works. And if you want even more smoother curve, just increase the feather a hell lot. Increase the contrast a lot. Maybe not increase the feather so much. Up to this point is fine. And as you can see, this is extremely, extremely smooth. So there you go. Four ways to make selection smoother in Photoshop. And the obvious one is go to select, modify and smooth. And again, select and mask is a hell of a game changer too. There are two ways inside of it. And finally, it absolutely also depends on how you're making the selection. For example, if you're using the pen tool, absolutely it would be a smoother curve. 
If you're using the quick selection tool, consider checking enhance edge for the most part and it does a smoother edge. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.